The novel that Warren will always be remembered for is All the King's Men. The story of a ruthless big shot, Willie Stark. Well, All the King's Men is one of the greatest novels ever written by an American. Gamblers and crooks fought for his favor, but a fearless few risked ruin to destroy him. Because of the, the genius of the film, a lot of people know more about the book and the author than, than most books that are converted to film. He began as a poet, uh, writing poems as a teenager, and he goes on to win the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry twice. What is your so, best poem? Well, I mean, it's the, uh, it, 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 it's, it's not the best, it's one of the best. Uh, it's a, a little book called Audubon, A Vision. Was not the lost Dauphin, though handsome, was only base born and not even able to make a decent living, was only himself. Jean-Jacques and his passion. What is man but his passion? You couldn't be a writer in Kentucky and not be in the shadow uh, of Robert Penn Warren. Long ago in Kentucky, I, a boy, stood by a dirt road in first dark and heard the great geese hoot northward. Warren was always in some way dealing with the problem of the burden of the past and the present. In this century and moment of mania, tell me a story. I was fascinated by the whole question of time and of memory and indeed of human culpability. The name of the story will be Time, but you must not pronounce its name. Tell me a story of deep delight. One of Warren's great strengths as an artist, as a poet, is to provide in his work a kind of hope for us against the despair of our history and our human condition. My concerns are, are very simple and few. As I'm probably concerned, trying to write poems and now and then a novel. When I return to my father's birthplace in Guthrie, Kentucky, I feel a tumult of different emotions. I feel grief for his loss again in a fresh way. I feel touched by the reality of uh, his past, his youth, the world of his youth. And I feel very moved by the landscapes of Western Kentucky. Pondy Woods. The buzzards over Pondy Woods achieve the blue tense altitudes. Black figments that the woods release obscenity in form and grace drifting high through the pure sunshine till the sun in gold decline i'm sitting in the robert Penn warren birthplace museum this exact room he was born in in 1905 and it's not an exaggeration to say that robert Penn warren changed the course of american literature i am a southerner and that can't be changed because on a birth certificate <laughs> Nothing you can do about that. Right. He never forgets Kentucky. Something in him is permanently embedded in the dark and bloody ground. A train's far whistle blew and drifted away coldly. Lucid and thin, the morning lay along the farms, and here no sound touched the sweet earth, miraculously stilled. But it's all about place. It's, it's, it's the poems as rooted in that soil, in that place. 
uh, in and around Guthrie. And buzzards over Pondy Woods achieve the blue tense altitudes, drifting high in the pure sunshine till the sun in gold decline. Then, golden and heretic through the night, their eyes burn two by two. He grows up hearing this great storyteller, his grandfather, tell him about the war. Uh, he said, uh, but around him, it wasn't just his grandfather. It was like, he said, everybody had been in it, meaning the Civil War. My wife says, if I say the war, she doesn't know what the hell it is. Uh, Korean, Second World War, First World War. <laughs> to uh, you, the war is... Or revolution. Or, yeah. civil, or the war, Civil War. <laughs> well... <laughs>